good morning friends today i am talking about the aging of the population in a particular area or a particular country if we see the demographic transition level we can easily identify the structure of the population means there are three main three groups we have found in any kind of population the population which has the age be, uh, um, below 15 years this is a called the young population so 15 to the 59 years age these populations are called the adult population and the population which have more than six like who have ages more than 60 years they are called the older population so in every country if you go through their demographic transition stage you can easily identify it, the structure of this three kind of population and we know that aged population actually are showing a high dependency ratio why they are called dependent because we know that when people are become aged they are not able to do so many types of works and they are not quite uh, you know applicable to work in the economic sector and this is one of the reasons that their economic contribution has declined and it has shown a kind of dependent or dependency on the uh, adult population because they have to take all the uh, responsibilities of this aged population so if for a for a country where the economy uh, is, is is a kind of state which is called the developing stage that time the aged population is really a big issue and but we can't deny that as because we are now progressive in the medical sector and we are inventing so many in medicines and uh, we are uh, quite progressive in the in the field of medicine hospitality and uh, other social structure day by day it has been found that the mortality rate is started to decline at a very rapid rate and this is one of the reason that aging of the population has somehow shown a very good indication of a developing state of a particular country but side by side for economy it has become a issue of the concern now i am discussing about the problem of aging in india if you see the population of india at present stage we have more uh, near about 121 million population and in our population a huge percentage almost uh, there was 7% wa uh, it was aged population in 2009 and it has been projected that by 2015 it will be 20% so when the aged population will be 20% defini definitely it will increase the dependency ratio but the aged population it is not evenly distributed in every states if you go to the southern states as because they are in the stage of uh, third demo third stage of the demographic transition and few places ha uh, have like th this is one of the reason that most of the parts of the southern states and few parts of eastern states uh, and also some parts of western states we, uh, states we have seen like Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala there we have found that the fertility rate is quite equal to the mortality rate and mortality rate is somehow very less than the fertility rate and it was one of the reason that we are seeing that uh, the dependent population or the aged population number is very much higher rather if you go to the northern state and few parts of eastern states we have seen that till now the fertility and mortality rate is quite similar means the fertility rate is not as declined as it was in the western states or the southern states this is one of the reason that in the northern states we have seen the number of aged population is not so much higher but we can't say that the aged population as because it is higher in the southern state it shows a uh, less development scenario because one thing we all have to un understand that aging of the population is definitely a uh, issue uh, uh, definitely a issue to be concerned in the economic part but if we manage the aging population in a very better way and if you have come up with some solution to uh, to involve them in the economic work in a different mode then this kind of population is also very much helpful for the economic development so in the latter part I am talking about this a little bit index of aging this is a very important index and index of aging means we understand that in every 
uh, every population we have two type of three type of segments one is young then adult and the older population so we have the young population whose age is below than 15 years and we have the aged population whose age is more than 60 years or 60 years so these two kind of population are the dependent population means the adult population has to take all the responsibility of these two population and but there is a kind of index of aging means uh, the ratio of the aged population with the young population so this is called the index and it has been found that in India uh, in 2001 the index of aging was 23.4 but in future 2026 there is a huge chance that we may have 53 elderly persons for every 100 children so we can say that day by day the index of aging will increase because our fertility uh, mortality is it's is declined rapidly and this is one of the reason that aging of the population or index of aging is increased problems regarding the aging of the population this is the main concern of today's discussion as because the aging of the population has shown a very important indicators of a development in the medical and health infrastructure so and uh, and so we can't uh, say that we have to uh, we uh, that it, it is a very uh, like diff uh, it has two types of aspects uh, on the one hand it is a good indicator of development and on the other hand it has put up a challenge it has shown a challenge to the developing economy but few kinds of problem is raised because of aging of the population and as because we know that in our country we do not have this kind of provision so that uh, for the aged people we do not have that kind of structure which can help or assist these aged people in the, in in their later life it has become a little bit problem what kind of problem we have seen i will discuss in the next part increasing old age dependency this is a very important aspect of uh, of the this problem actually in our uh, in our country we have seen that day by day the as because the elder population number is increased the old age dependency becomes so much and this dependency like we have almost it was the same thing which we have discussed and if the we know that oh, if old age is increased if the elder population is increased then the number of the workers in the market will be decreased and somehow it will be a reason for the shortage of the labor in future reducing level of potential support this is a very important one as because we know that the older population they have to take the support from the adult population but as because in our country the older population ratio older population or elder population is increased somehow in comparison the uh, in comparison if the adult population is not increased in the same way somehow it will reduce the level of potential support means we may have elder population but there will be no one to take care of them and these things happen in our country uh, next point will have the increasing number of older parents to support it, the same thing is that we all know now we are in an era that when people have to move from one place to one another place for their work and migration is a very important scenario in context of the economy as because the economic migration is happened we have seen that in so many suburban and the rural areas the elder populations they have to leave completely alone and somehow it has increased the risk of the mental problem and also somehow the social security issues is also coming and it has been found that it is somehow it will become difficult for a person to take care of their parents because uh, you know in our country we do not have that kind of provision where the the elder people get so much support from the government so every each person each working person or each uh, you know earning member of a family have to take the responsibility of their older parents and uh, it is somehow uh, definitely it, it is a response ethical responsive for it, uh, responsibility for a for a child to take care of their parents at the later age but somehow as because in India so many families are till they are below the poverty level it somehow has coming like a challenge for our society uh, means how can we we have this kind of provision where people are not able to take or, or to manage two times food for themselves then it will become so much difficult for them to give the support to the older parents
feminization of the elderly this is a very important one we know that in our country or throughout the world there is a tendency that in uh, in uh, later age women uh, have a huge like their life expectancy is better than the male and this is one of the reason that the feminization of the elderly is found mean the in the elder age we have more female rather than male and as because we know that female are the dependent population from the very first day in our country because society do not allow the women to work in the different workforce and somehow they are not getting the rights also because in the property laws now the, there is a little bit modification has coming that we have found that women the uh the female child also have a right on their father's property but in there so many cases we have found that in the later age as because this women do not have any property do not have any savings nothing when they are become they are become totally dependent on their family members there is a chance that their family members abuse them they are beaten up badly they somehow they are forced to uh, forced to uh, stay at uh, at the old age home without any particular support so there is a chances that the feminization of the elderly is coming and as because indian women are not so much getting in importance or they are not uh, so much uh, you know um, they are not getting facilities from the very first this has come has come like a problem for them in their later age and then one chance is coming the increased likely likelihood of losing one spouse because we have found that um, as because in the you know uh, this point is little bit you know uh, complex because we know as as the in uh, the elderly population when they are become when a pop when a person become old it is very much difficult for them to survive alone and when they lost their spouse at the elder age it has been found that somehow it has become a little bit problem for them especially for the men because they are not uh, they are not able to performing all the household work and when they lo lost their uh, wife it has become a car like a cars a bowl from the blue because and this type of things has become quite common because the losing one spouse like in the earlier days it has been found that uh, the we have seen the so many cases has happened that women lost their husband at their very early age but now it has been found that the they have lost their spouses at their later age so both the if uh, the widow ma like uh, the child widow they have their own problem and now again a need different kind of problem is happened and if this things happen with the male then it has become another issue for them also place of residence this is a very important issue as because i have already mentioned that in the if uh, in our country so many families are there below the poverty level and when people are not able to uh, to take care of their elder family person they force them to stay aside at they sometimes they have to leave totally alone without any proper shelter without proper any health infrastructure this women or men who of the elder population they have facing this problem in a huge manner and every time we have got this kind of news and but this the thing is that uh, as because the the sometimes it I, I'm, I'm not i'm not trying to defend the uh, the children who have who have done this kind of cr no crime against their parents but some the economic perspective has played a very important role when a person is not able to manage two times food for their family then it has become really a big issue then high levels of illiteracy yes in, in if you go to like we know that our elder generation that time women are not allowed to go to school or take the any provision for the education and somehow as because the elder population is growing uh, we have seen that high level of illiteracy is coming but i have i am always um, try to tell you one thing that elder population is not a problem but the problem is that our elder population we do not know how we can we can use their skill for our future because when a person become older just economy has shorted every option for them they are just replaced they are just throw away from the economy but if you go to the modern like uh, the developed countries nowadays like japan and other places we have seen that how they have tried to uh, use their skills the elder population they have a vast traditional knowledge they have so many skills where they do not have to use the physical labor but where they can easily use their brain their skills their knowledge to uh, to produce some important uh, resources for the future and this is one of the reason that we need to give emphasis on the 
on this population or on how we can use their skills it is we can't say that aged population is a car so we, we can say that we have to build the structure when we are moving towards a development then we can't say that we will not improve our medical and health facility where we have given the people a better life expectancy ratio but when you are putting people for a like when you are giving the opportunity for a better life expectancy ratio we have to structure our social health infrastructure in such a way that they are not not they are not getting any kind of deprivation from uh, from their family members from their society or from the government when they are in a later age so what thing i could say that aging of the population is not a curse but it become a curse when the government is not or somehow the society is not ready to provide them better infrastructure then we have seen the regional variations of the population aging we i have already mentioned that we have seen the western states like maharashtra Kerala, Karnataka, southern states, and some parts of West Beng uh, Bengal. We have seen that in uh, like uh, not sorry, not in West Bengal. In mostly in the southern states, we have seen the elder population is a very huge number. The reason is that there the fertility rate the is also declined and the mortality rate is declined a very sharp. In a, in a have a very sharp declination and this is one of the reason that we have seen a very le, uh, very high elderly population mainly in the parts of uh, himachal pradesh punjab and kerala whereas in the parts of northern india uh, uh, northern states of up uh, these parts we have seen that uh, the lowest population of, of elderly population is found the reason is that there the fertility like sorry there the mortality is, is not declining as it was in the eastern or northern states so we have seen more development there is a chance of more population of aging now we have seen the aging of the population is definitely one of the reason as we have seen as a impact of covid 19 attack we have seen the countries where the aged population is so much high they have registered more mortality due to covid 19 attack but uh, one could say that aging of the population is not a curse but the thing is that aging of the population uh, aged population should must get some better social mental physical assistance from the family member society and government when this three institution is not working hand by uh, like join in a uh, joining their hand together or side by side that time this kind of problems can be happened so we have to take care of our elders population in a very very better way